In this video, I will show how to reload operating system on an IONOS server. We are logged into IONOS control panel. Click on Service and Cloud. This page will list all available dedicated surveys. We have two surveys. We will reload operating system on the first server. Click on Select. On the server control panel, you can see the server IP address and the operating system. We have CentOS 8 now. This is end of life, so we will reinstall the server with the CentOS 7. To reload the operating system, click on the Actions button. From the drop down, select Reinstall image. It will show all available operating systems. We have Windows Server, Ubuntu, CentOS 7, Debian, and Alma Linux. For this server, I will use CentOS 7 because this server has some old websites that need PHP 5.6. We need the plus on this server, so select Additional Software. Click on Advanced Options. Here you can specify password for the root user. Enter a password here. Confirm password. Repeat the same password. Now click on Reinstall Image button. Now IONOS is reinstalling the server. It will take approximately 20 minutes. And they will set the root password, same as the one we specified. The application plus Obsidian Unlimited Domains will be installed. Let's close this. The server status is deploying. We have to wait for the deployment to finish. Here you can see the status, reinstalling image. The progress is approximately 23%. The installation is now complete. Status changes from deploying to on. We have option to restart, shut down the server here. Under the action button, you can access VNC console. We will get server console here. You need to type the password here. Instead, we will use the normal SSH. Let's copy the server IP address. Take a terminal. SSH root at the rate IP address. We have warning related to key fingerprint change. This is because we reinstalled operating system and the key fingerprint change. We need to run this command. Now we will be able to connect. It is asking us to accept new key fingerprint. Type yes and press enter. Let's enter the server password. We are logged into the server. Let's log into plus also. If you scroll down, you will see the plus URL login URL. Username is root and the password is same as the root password. Click on advanced, proceed and save. Accept all cookies. Username is root and enter the password. Login. Since we are logging for the first time, it will ask us to create an admin user. Click on checkbox. I confirm I read and accepted end user license agreement. Click on enter plus. Plus is doing the initial configuration. Thank you for watching. Hope you find the video useful. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.